Hello everyone, this is Mark Hartle, owner of Grill Fab. Thank you very much for buying the product. I wanted to put a short video together to go through the assembly and disassembly of the unit on your Traeger grill. Um, this was an idea of mine after I dumped grease on the back porch a couple times, got really upset with that, and was adamant that we could put together a, a well-built solution that uh, seems to, to, to fit on with the, with the general theme and um, quality that, that we're used to with our Traegers. So with that being said, I'm going to quickly go through the assembly and disassembly. So what, we, what we've designed the bucket holder with, it's, it basically comes in three pieces. We have a stainless thumb knob that's knurled on the outside, and we have a stainless carriage bolt as well. Once those are removed, I'm just gonna lift this off, but right here's what your grill probably looks like right now with the bucket hanging on that. Let's take that bucket off, let's get it out of the way. Now, there's a couple ways we can go about this. You can uh, put the bucket on first or after we get the unit. For the purposes of this, I'll take it just as it's arrived with you. Now, there are some manufacturing differences with the Traeger grills from what I've seen. Powder coat thickness, placement of this tab, so I'm confident this will fit 99% of uh, the Traeger grills out there that have this angled square spout. If it doesn't, give me a shout, we'll modify it, we'll try to get you fixed up. But once that bucket's out of the way, the bucket holster fits right over on it, slides down, and the weight is rested on the tab. Once that's set on there, the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna take that carriage bolt, feed it through from this side. You're gonna to have to uh, get it to come out the hole on the other side, hold it in there, take the knurled thumb nut, or whatever it's called, I'm not sure what it's called to be honest, tighten it up. It doesn't need to be super tight, just, uh, just to give it a little bit of torque with, your, with, the, with a couple of your fingers there. So once that's on there, that's, um, it's solid. It's not going anywhere. That bolt isn't, there's no drilling, so it doesn't go through the spout. It goes underneath the spout, so it can't be knocked upwards. So with that bolt underneath, you can't knock it upwards. With that tab, it can't be knocked downwards, okay? Once it's on there, we can open up the, uh, the front, front piece of the bucket holster and get ready to place our bucket. Now, one thing important, the fat factory Traeger buckets that this works with, it's got this little lip on the back edge. Make sure that lip sits back up into the back of the bucket holster. Really important. Once that's in place, swing the front around, push this up over so this hook here grabs the bucket, everything gets fit into place, and then on this far side there's a uh, draw latch that you'll hook over, snap back in place, and it's on. So at this point, grease goes in there and it doesn't fall off. It doesn't, it doesn't fall off. So. I'm very happy with it. Um, glad you guys decided to buy it. Please let me know if you're not completely satisfied. This is just a, a little side business my wife and I put together to, to help share some of the, uh, the inventions that we made, specifically with the Traeger Drill. Traeger Grill. Uh, we're very passionate about cooking on it. We want to make sure it's as uh, enjoyable of an experience for, for you guys as it is with us. And part of that enjoyment comes from not spilling grease on the back porch. So. Appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the product. Thank you.